Hi there, I hope you're having a good day and welcome back to another video. We got a pretty fun one today, especially if you love looking at kicks on court. Uh, the NBA Finals is over, we're not going to be able to watch some basketball for a while, but why don't we look at the best kicks that the Celtics and Warriors players wore during the Finals. And two of those seemingly unobtainable shoes, you might even be able to buy a pair for yourself as soon as tomorrow. So nowadays, with the league allowing players to wear sneakers of whichever color theme, we do see a good variety of colorways during the finals. Uh, unlike previously, I think from my memory over the last decade, you know, the typical colorway would be a white or black with touches of gold on there to symbolize the trophy. Uh, well, obviously depending on if you're playing at home or away, or it would just be the colors that match the jerseys. The Kobe 5s during the 2010 finals against the Celtics, man, those are sick. So this year in 2022, we got a pretty good mix and let's take a look. Coming in at number 10, we have the Kobe 11 Low in the bright mango colorway worn by Jordan Poole. I believe he wore these in game two, five, and six. Also, this was one of his go-to shoes earlier in the season too. This colorway, if I'm not mistaken, was created to pay tribute to the Kobe 6 Barcelona colorway with Kobe being a big fan of the Spanish football club. And this bright mango color was to match Barcelona's alternate jerseys that year. It has a black swoosh, midsole, and Kobe logo, a very dope shoe to see in the finals. Jordan Poole was also a huge part of the Warriors' success this season, giving them a huge spark to their offense when they needed it. Now at number 9 is the Curry 9 in this For The Dub colorway, and worn by Steph Curry obviously in Game 1 of the finals. Don't get it mixed up with one of the first colorways of the Curry 9 that came out. This one was originally made for International Women's Day. It features some light purple and pink overlapping the netting on the upper, purple colored laces, and just a very nice and subtle colorway for a home game. Unfortunately, they didn't come up with a dub for Game 1. Next up, why don't we talk about the biggest X factor for the Celtics throughout the playoffs even carrying them hard during Game 6. Al Horford was rocking his Nike Zoom Rise 2 in this finals. And this white colorway with an orange outline swoosh and some blue on the midsole kind of reminds me of a Knicks colorway, but I don't know why those are the colors he chose. It does have his initials AH on the tongue, and for sure a very clean pair of sneakers. He wore these a few times during the regular season too. At number 7, we got Clay Thompson in his Anta KT7 low. Isn't it good to see Clay back in the finals? Freaking bum. This blue colorway is very typical of a KT shoe. The icy blue color matches the Warriors jersey pretty well, and both as blue seekers on feet, I do like these better than Draymond's Converse BB Jet in that money green colorway. At number 6, we have Jalen Brown wearing a customized version of the undefeated Kobe 5 Pro Troll. So after his contract with Adidas expired, Jalen Brown has been wearing a lot of Kobe's as a sneaker free agent. This one he wore during Game 6 of the NBA Finals uses the undefeated pair as a base. Swoosh was painted green from the red and purple to represent the Celtics color, and it is done collaboratively with Aces and his own brand Juice. I don't know if that's how you actually pronounce it. Very dope design. Moving on, we have the player that always had the best PEs in my opinion. Jason Tatum wore this no guac colorway of the Air Jordan 36 during Game 2 of the Finals at Chase Center. The design on this pair of the Jordan 36 is pretty self-explanatory, very avocado looking shoes with a nice and vivid green color that pops on the court and also reps the Celtics. At the number 4 spot is Steph Curry in his Curry 4 Flow Trolls. I think these were probably the most eye-catching sneaker on court during the finals when people first saw them. In case you didn't know, the Flow Troll uses Curry brand's Flow technology on the Curry 4s. Very cool way of infusing modern technology onto Under Armour's way of a retro. I mean, it's much better than the Curry 1 retro, which basically had no change. This light pink colorway is very nice and simple. He wore these during Game 4. Uh, I don't think they're available for purchase in North America yet, but I am really looking into getting a pair. Now to my top 3. At number 3 is Jason Tatum wearing the Jordan 36 Taco J. And you know what's great about these is that if you're in the US, I believe you have a chance to cop them on Nike. Unfortunately, this is not on the release calendar where I am, but you know, this one is certainly a dope colorway. Comes with a special box with his taco inspired designs. He first wore a pair of Jordan 34s in the same color theme, I believe. So very cool design, even better that you get to cop these on June 21st. A second place is Jason Tatum again. While this one, I just simply had to put on top of my list because it was made to pay tribute to the Mamba. In Game 6, Tatum wore these Jordan 36 in a predominantly black color with a snakeskin upper, gum bottoms, and touches of gold color with speckles on the laces. Kobe was his idol, also technically his mentor, although his Mamba mentality was really not there during the finals this year. But the black Mamba theme throughout the sneaker is too good to not respect, and for that reason, it has the second spot. Finally, the best sneakers wore during the NBA Finals, 
Again, it's a pair of Curry 4 Floatros, but in this special edition worn in Game 3. Not only does this one have a vibrant mix of colors, but it also has phrases including hashtag retire inequality and we're not done yet. The special message is to raise awareness for the gender pay gap, with many women receiving less retirement income than men. So it was just a dope colorway on a nice shoe with a meaningful background. Plus, I think there might also be a very limited number of these dropping on June 23rd. All right, so that's all for this video on the best sneakers worn during the NBA Finals this year. Let me know which one is your favorite. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.